And niggas be talking about, get a mic so I can hear you. Well, motherfucker, I guess you got to put your ear closer to the screen because, nigga, I don't feel you. Now, nah, let me stop that bullshit. Now, nah, but I got a uh, CD. I woke up to a Best Buy bag, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I look in here, and I'm like, yo, all, this, all I actually wanted was this. I heard this last night, you know what I mean? This ain't the, um, I'm not going to talk about the joint. It, it was fair, you feel me? It's the standard, though. You know, um, the deluxe was cool as well. It's only 14 records, so it's like only three missing. But uh, this version is straight. You know, I fuck with it or whatever. But yeah, man, so let's go ahead and get to it. But y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this album. You know, Lil Durk is just on a different wave. I'll talk about that in a review. All right, let's go. So Drake, at his um, second day at the tour, he dissed Joe Budden. You know, first night, Tory Lanez, night, this Joe Budden. Uh, I just feel like this, man. I want him to respond. I've been saying that from the beginning. I don't know what anybody else wants him to do. But at this point now, he kind of, I guess, warranted Joe Budden dissing him. Because it's like, it's the whole equivalent of, you know how you can be shaking somebody's hand, but then stabbing them in the back at the same time? You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, I should have had Joe Budden come here and do Pump It Up, Pump It Up. You know what I'm saying? And, man, fuck them niggas. Like, you feel what I'm saying? It's like, that's crazy. It's like, I don't know. I want a, a, a record. I'm expecting a record from Drake. He got to respond now. It's like, yo, you going to let your fans down. I don't have to speak on the shit I've been saying, but it's just like, this just goes to show that, you know what I mean? We are Drake fans. You can't say you're not, but it's the same. To me, he in the same boat as Meek. It's like the same shit when, you diss, when he dissed Meek and Meek wouldn't really respond. Drake kind of in the same boat, and that no shopping shit is not a diss. That shit was horrible, you know what I mean? That wasn't even thought out, you know, as far as anything that I know we know as fans of his music he's capable of, you dig? Um, so, yeah, he basically in the same boat. It's like if you don't respond, shut up. Don't even say nothing else, you know what I mean? And I think, uh, shout out to academics, he kind of feel the same way, you know what I mean? If y'all ain't watching his channel, go watch him, he... He said some real shit. Shocked a lot of people that, <laughs> you know what I mean, when, whatever. But, yeah, so Drake just got to, um, he got to put out a record, man. Fuck these tweets, memes, all that shit. With this nigga Joe Budden, I don't want to see none of that shit he did with Meek, bro. I want records. I don't want subliminals. You know, you already said his name on stage. Then followed by fuck you. So you definitely got to come out with a diss record. Or Drake, you know, has to come out with a diss record. They didn't got to have his name in it. No subliminal shit. Don't piggyback off somebody else. Put the Barry name back to have them diss the nigga. And then he carry up, you know, follow that up with a couple lines here and there. And then get back to what he known to do and make radio hits. Fuck that shit, my nigga. You got to definitely, you know, um, respond, bro. Since you acknowledge the shit. But that's just what I think. Y'all let me know what y'all think of the Drake shit and Lil Durk new album. Thanks for watching. One.